welcome back to Melbourne Road videos. I'm here at Springvale on the uh, Packham and Cranbourne lines. We've got 7.40am departing. This video was, was um, requested by, I've got written down Melbourne train vlogs, but I think they've changed their channel now, so it might be Has PT Media, so sorry if I butchered that shout out. Thanks for your request. I'm up the concourse here at Springvale. Got a lift over here, ramp going down, ramp going down on the other side. I think there's a train coming fairly soon. Plenty of toilets and that sort of thing. The new uh, Mikey uh, barriers. My sign saying Springvale Station, steps going down. This is one of the first stations to be removed, or the first level crossings to be removed, but this wasn't under the level crossing removal authority, as it is now known. Um, it was actually one of the few things done by the Liberal government, the previous Liberal government before Daniel Andrews came in. So they removed this level crossing. I think it was with money allocated by the Labor Party anyway. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been great for the local community. I think it's the only rail under crossing removal on the Dandenong line. So it's a point of difference to the Sky Rail, which you see on the rest of it. But yeah, it's a good station. Quite like it from first impressions. Now I'm down on platform one. And before some trains come, I'll just give you a quick look around the station. Bit of a slow pan. Platform 2. It's got an interesting black and white pattern here, which does the job architecturally. It's the concourse, which I was up at before. And then the road passes over the top there somewhere. I'm not sure which road it is, it might be Spring Valve Road, but I, I highly doubt it. But it's just a guess. And this is looking towards the city in Westall, which is the next station that way. Not sure why there's that U showing up on the signal, but um, yeah. One other thing I remembered about this station is that it used to be the junction for the Springvale Cemetery line, which went off to the left there somewhere. I don't think there are too many remnants remaining of it. But um, I think the train man did a video about it, so if you want to check out his video. Just before this train comes in, it looks like they've left a bit of space here, so maybe they can extend the platform a bit um, if they need to for 10 car trains, if they ever do that. 10 car high capacity trains. But they're not going to be rolled out for a long time if they are ever rolled out. Based on the signals on both sides, it looks like um, bi-directional running is facilitated here, which makes sense given the close proximity to the West Hill Yard. Anyway, I've got this common driving. 6.20am. Coming in at a decent speed. Rear 3 r 588 m I've got a train coming the other way too, Pakenham service, which will come pretty soon. In a minute, I can see it. its lights. Your next service to the parking platform 2 will be the 1.45. 
There we go. Coming just once again. Three thirty eight M. While I remember, I'll just give this station a rating. I really like it. I think it's nicely done, nice and new. Actually, it looks quite nice too, so I think it's going to get a 7.5 out of 10. And we've got another comment arriving. Four forty six M City Loop Service generated a fair bit of wind. Uh, and you've got five twenty five M at the rear. Is now departing. Shortly we'll have another train arriving, this is only about one or two minutes after the last train left and uh, it should be a high capacity train. So I'm going to take it, so it's going to be the last train in the video. I'm really hoping it is a high capacity train. At the moment they're not really running regular services, they're just kind of slotting them in as extra services on the timetable. And yes, it is a high capacity train, so thank goodness for that. Should be set number 18, I believe. Let's see. Yep, set 18. It's quite empty because it's only three minutes after the last train. I've got a Siemens which has just arrived on the, on the other side. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.